so basically as i said in the previous video we will be starting a new chapter in today's video and the chapter is biological classification and we will be discussing the various classificationary systems that led to the formation of five kingdom classification in this video so the first very basic classificationary system was done in ancient ancient times and that classificationary system was based on nine non scientific methods of classification so we call it as non scientific method non scientific method of classification now on what basis did they classify people classified organisms based on their needs here people based on their needs so now please pause the video for some time and think what were the basic needs at that time in order to classify organisms what were the three basic needs that we have i have already given you the number that is three now pause the video for a minute and think up think on it. so hope you have arrived at a conclusion and those three basic needs those three very basic needs are food shelter and clothing and clothing okay now food now don't say me water food includes water okay now shelter shelter to live shelter to protect themselves from other uh, natural calamities and clothing in order to protect their bodies so these three were the very basic needs of humans during the ancient times when the evolution of humans was taking place now of course this have been changed a lot but the organisms were classified like this the uh, say for suppose if i take a mango tree mango tree now this mango tree helped them in as an eating source as an eating source so they classified this uh, mango tree as food okay this can be eaten this can be eaten next one shelter uh, now let us say an example of a tree some tree bark which provided them shelter next clothing yeah those leaves and all which uh, the tribal people used to tie you have seen in many cartoons right so that these were the three basic needs very basic needs of humans during the human development stages but now these have been changed a lot we are increasing our needs are increasing but the basic needs are the same that is food shelter and clothing so now while moving on to the second thing uh, people started thinking about it why should we only classify organisms based upon our basic needs why shouldn't we classify them based upon the scientific needs so now they started thinking and they have classified the organisms based on scientific method and that was the very first scientific approach of classification of animals was done by our very dear our very dear aristotle aristotle okay somewhere i have missed it aristotle so he was the very first basic man or you can say very first man to classify organisms based upon scientific method first man to classify organisms on a scientific basis he was the very first man to classify organisms on a very scientific basis and he was popularly known as the father of biology father of zoology so that's not our piece of work let's just put there now how did the aristotle classify organisms how did he classify plants how did he classify animals he classified plants based upon so basically all or uh, organisms were classified based on simple morphology by him simple morphology by him 
now what is the morphology that he considered while uh, you know classifying plants he consider he considered height while classifying plants and he considered the presence or absence of red blood in animals while classifying them so when he considered height and plants to classify uh, he has go, he has arrived three types of plants based upon his scientific research or something you say you call it anything he classified plants into herbs which were smaller shrubs uh, which were a little uh, bigger than the herbs and trees these were the highest upon among these three these were the highest so he considered gross morphology in order to classify plants as an height he took height as a gross morphological feature to classify plants now while coming to animals he classified animals into two types that is your anima okay let's change the color now okay two only so required two now you go there he classified okay starting with e naima so please uh, do not spam the comment box if the pronunciation or the spelling is wrong a naima e naima and a naima so e means true everything in your bi biology where you talk about e means true and a, a means absent a silo means e silo means or u silo means so pseudo silo means like that pseudo means false e means true a means absent so e naima means animals processing red blood animals with red blood got it and a naima absence of red blood animals which are without red blood without red blood so now there can be a question in your exam what was the first scientific basis or like and also ask you who was the first man to classify organisms based upon scientific basis that is your aristotle and they can also ask you uh, what are the gross morphological features that he chose to classify plants height what was the gross morphology that he chose to classify animals red blood or presence or absence of red blood so these two are the differences between um, okay the classification of plants and animals now after aristotle there were many scientific approaches there are many things that uh, people uh, started humans started to consider uh, keeping gross morphology as a basis the second thing or the second man to classify organisms were on the scientific basis was according to our ncrt was and is our very best true friend who gave who proposed uh, you know bio, biological num sorry binomial nomenclature and he is your lenness so Carl Swann Lennes was the second man to classify organisms based upon scientific basis and he classified organisms into two kingdoms and that is why we call it as kingdom classification started from here started from here and Carl Swann Lennes is called as two kingdom classification system so from this name you have to understand that one lenness classified organisms into two kingdoms what were they no guess what were they yes plants animals animals and he named it as animalia and plantae kingdom plantae kingdom animalia okay kingdom plantae kingdom animalia my pronunciation would be some different please do not consider it and this two kingdom classification was given by alenaeus alenaeus or something you call it as he classified organisms into two kingdoms kingdom plantae and animalia based upon the presence or absence of cell wall this was done based upon the presence or absence of cell wall 
they can ask you any way they can give you either presence of cell wall or absence of cell wall in your uh, options so that is why i have given you both presence or absence of cell wall the oral organisms which are consider consisting or having cell wall were classified into plants cell wall containing organisms they were not classified based upon the eukaryote based upon prokaryotes uh, no other characteristics was uh, taken uh, by considered by lennes cell wall no world remember like this cell wall no world no world animals cell wall plants okay this was the two kingdom classification which was proposed by lennes and it is having its limitations what are the limitations it does not it does not distinguish between multicellular and unicellular this was the biggest mistake done by lennes you can consider it second one no distinction between prokaryotes and eukaryotes i have also mentioned you you or prokaryotes eukaryotes prokaryotes and eukaryotes now photosynthetic and non photosynthetic uh, see uh, the, uh, let us consider fungi based upon today's classification uh, was classified into plants which was even not photosynthetic which was heterotrophic it too is consisting of cell wall so that is why it was pushed into plants now after that it has got a separate kingdom kingdom fungi in the fifth uh, sorry five kingdom classification which was done by r h whitaker and that will be starting in the next uh, video thank you guys have a great day further thank you